Hi there guys and today we're talking about ratios in context okay so let's chat a little bit about that so when we talk about ratios in context we are now talking about um, ratios where we need to pull these ratios based on a scenario that we are given for example uh, here's our first one juice is made by mixing three parts of water to one part concentrate okay so when we say that it's actually a ratio of three to one so we can see that there are four parts all together and of these four parts three of the four parts is water one part is concentrate okay but when we add both of these what do we get we get four parts okay so this is how we deal with ratios in context all right so here's another one they talk about alexandra and alexandra is making bracelets she wants the pattern to be two pink beads then five gray beads then uh, she wants the two pink beads again followed by five gray beads okay so it's two pink then five gray then two pink then five gray okay so she has 20 pink beads in total how many bracelets can she make so can you see we've got our scenario so they want us to do this so if she has 20 pink beads how many bracelets can she make well we're going to divide it by what we're going to divide it by four why because if we look at the context of what we have over here this is one bracelet and one bracelet consists consists of two pink beads five gray two pink five gray so in total in fact let me just take this out here in total to make one bracelet she will need four pink beads and ten gray beads so if she's wanting to make um or sorry if she has 20 pink beads we then going to divide the 20 by four that will give us five and that's going to tell us how many bracelets we can make okay because remember for every bracelet she makes she needs four pink beads then they ask how many gray beads will she now need so what are we going to do we now know how many bracelets how many gray beads per bracelet 10 and now we know she will need 50 gray beads to make up five bracelets 